What's up with the world? We got another special episode of Big Headed Table Talk. I am your co-host with the most busy Mac and the handicap assassin along with my other brothers. Got you, world, man. And it is good to be back, man. Now, we had a week yeah. layoff, man, but we are back in the building, man. And I'm also here with my other brother. It's your boy, Vic420. Welcome back. Welcome, you know, it was a cool, cool little reset, but yes, we're sir. here, man. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. Let's get it. Now, today's news, man, I want to talk about that boy, NBA Youngboy, man. Oh, yeah. Now, y'all know he was facing them uh, charges, you know, with the guns. You know, basically, he got caught with the guns inside the house at the video shoot. And then that was the first charge. I guess he beat that. He still well, got I'm another. For yeah, he still got another federal charge. Uh, he got into the car. And um, basically, the police pulled him over and they found another gun in the car or something like that. I think it was two different guns on the same occasion. But my thoughts about this is like, what do y'all think about NBA Youngboy always getting into trouble, man? Like, being at this high in his stardom and his fame, you know what I mean? What do you think about him, like, not taking it serious? I think that they need to, like, sometimes they need to draw the line within the streets and the industry. But that shit's leaking into the industry now, so he can't even... He has to be strapped everywhere he goes. I seen mm-hmm. a picture of him the other day. They was taking a picture of him. Yeah. And he reached down like for his his strap and he's like, Oh, I don't even got my strap. So he jumped right back in the car quick. Like Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It's about what he's he's attracting all the negativity. So Yeah. He gotta be ready for it. But yeah, at the point of his career right now, like he don't need to be moving like that, like you said. And it's just looking keeps getting more frequent with these niggas. Think they could just move like they still was moving. What's your opinion on this? Like, how you keep moving reckless over and over? It sounds like someone's probably snitching on him, too, you know? Like, yeah. they're That's setting him point. up, too. Always some loose, <laughs> loose lips and links and shit. You know, like, he got some beef going, going on, so you definitely know yeah. that he got, he's you know, he got shit going on. Coming from everywhere. So, yeah. if you snitch on this fool on something, like, oh, he got something, you know, he, he got to have something. Because if he got beef going on right now, he's always staying with something, so. And especially what's going on with, like, Young Thug and I mean, yeah, Young Thug and Gunner, like the police are watching. Everybody's watching, bro. So you gotta be on your shit, like. Yeah, that's they probably got those vans everywhere, huh? For sure. Yeah. Hip hop police, all that shit's real. Like. Hey, you so you know how the case he fighting? It was a federal case. Do you believe that uh that's gonna come back to bite him in the ass? Cause you know beating the f- nobody really beats the feds. You know. I don't they- know because I keep thinking all the people with all this money they keep getting off of shit like this. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like, in my personal opinion, I feel like later on in life it's gonna come back to bite him. That's in the what ass. I'm saying. It's gonna come back, but because you know the fans money, don't like losing. Look, he's out of jail right now. He got money to get out, so he probably got. Well, no, he he he's he's just on a what do you call it? ankle monitor? Yeah, I ankle think. monitor. But he still got out. That's free. That's like yeah, yeah. I feel it. You know, hopefully to me, uh, hopefully he just uh, gets it together. I mean, I know For sure because you that's know. The, um, the new generation, they all look up to him. He's like a big example to all these young kids, and they all love YB. So, yeah, I agree. I like his music yeah, too. Should I agree with that? Right, man, straighten up and move me, man. Yes, yeah, sir, man. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, hopefully YB get out this case, man. Yeah, this you got to move man. like a king, man. Congratulations for beating the first one, though. But what you got uh, for us next, man? Yeah, man. Another hip hop news. We got your boy Kodak Black, man. Okay, what happened? Every time it's looking good for him, man, he always fucks it up or something's fucking. He got caught trafficking drugs in South Florida. He's arrested on drugs possession and trafficking. Okay. So, man, that's like I'm saying. You don't need to be moving like that no more, bro. But he's just so indebted into the streets and we rap about this shit. So it's like, it's natural. Like, But I don't know what he's thinking, man. He's looking at some time now. He was booked again. Yeah, you are, are you familiar with what happened to him? Kodak Black? No, not quite. Not quite. Okay, he basically, he got pulled over and he got caught with a 31 oxy pills. You know what I mean? I think he got caught with like seventy thousand dollars in cash. Mm. Mind you, if you remember, Donald Trump pardoned him. Remember, he, right. he got him out of jail. Shouldn't be Donald Trump around. before he left office. So, same thing like with NBA Young Boy. My thoughts and my question again is like, you know, what I'm saying he getting all these chances. Like, do you think they should keep doing these same things over and over? Do you think they should try to change their life at a certain point? Yeah, you know I mean because thirty one oxy pills and seventy thousand yeah, dollars in cash. He just got out of prison. Like what the fuck? Oh, I mean God, he's moving. I, I mean he's moving. Yeah. I mean eventually. If- anyways, if it wasn't him, it was somebody in the car. Like what is you doing with shit like that? Like come on, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. That too. You gotta have that in the other car. Like come on, bro. I th- I think this is my thought. It's something kind of. This is what crossed my mind right now. 
he's probably letting them go out again because mm-hmm. he's like, man, they're gonna kill this fool. Or and they just pulled him over to a window tent. Let, 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 him, let the streets have him. You know what I'm talking yeah. you know about? Like, you're gonna end up in the wrong place. At the like, basically, moment. he's gonna shoot himself in the foot anyway. So he's gonna fuck up. Yeah, you're gonna end up in a dark place. Mm-hmm. You know, he already got shot. Like, what else happens happen, bro? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, since he's been out, huh? Exactly. Yeah, that's come true. Come on, bro. That's true. You know, if these people, Man. these people get this fame and they start, they start, uh, stardom shit, and they think that, uh, you know, they're untouchable. And the way I look at it is like, if you got all this money, man, there's no reason to put yourself in positions like this. Put people in positions around you so you don't be getting fucking that hot right predicaments now, like that. Yeah, I, he is hot no matter what. Like, both of them, him and YB, hot at the top right I now. I feel like that fool's probably going to be the fool's next. Probably. I don't want to be, what? you know, like getting that negative, But yeah, but I feel yeah. like he could be like, he's like on the edge of that. You know, well, what it's saying? that blatant. You can see it. You can see it. Huh. Yeah, like same thing with, what's his name? With, uh, Cause I seen it with y- YSL, rappers. but I was like, nah. I hope they got enough money to not be doing that. I was like, nah. But why wouldn't you? And you got all that money, so like, yeah. just gotta be careful how to use your money too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. He just bought land and all types of shit. So you know the people are looking at him crazy. Like, if you're smart, he'll make it. But you know, you know, sloppy fools, you end up slipping. Yeah, true. man. But shout out to Kodak Black, man. Hope you get your shit together, man. Yep. On that, that's facts, man. Likewise, right here. What you got up for us next, Vic? What you, what you? Got, man. man, over well to make make it into this personal life of mine, you know, like from work. Um, so I noticed, you know, everything's connected. You know, everything that's going on now with China, the war, in the imports. It's ugly, bro. So I found out at work that we are building, we're making our buildings like China. What do you mean by that? Yeah. So what Make I mean skyscrapers by skyscrapers and shit. Yeah. Like that. What I mean by that. So Pushing the scale. this is deep because it's gonna affect a lot of workers for construction workers. Uh, like so a lot of the union workers that do. Uh, okay, so we ma- we make the building the foundation, and then they start making the building up, right? Mm-hmm. They're not gonna do that no more. How they gonna? We're do still gonna have box? work. I mean, thank God we we're, we're still gonna have work because we're the foundation, right? Mm-hmm. But after that foundation it's is done. Ugly. These guys, everything that's coming from China is already made. So they, they're like shipping containers. You know how those uh, metal containers? Yeah. Big they're, ass pieces of they're making buildings them, in them and shit. Yep, they're making them into rooms, bathrooms, a whole room. Fill, everything is in there. Like Legos and couch, shit. Couch, huh? yep. Exactly. A couch. Uh, everything's in there already. Complete, complete. Yeah. For, from China. It's coming from China like that already. Yeah, I seen that they were doing them on. They were putting them on boats and bringing them over here. Yeah, I seen so, yeah. so you know how I was telling you guys that uh, I I went to another job. So in the orientation, I was sitting there on I think it was Thursday. And so for a few like an hour and a half, watching this thing, how they were just the, just the whole orientation about work, you know, safety mm-hmm. shit. But in the safe in the safety thing, I I got to find out we're doing like he said the Legos. We're we're doing Lego things. Everything that's coming from China, Mm -hmm. it comes off the truck. Mm -hmm. You get it from the crane, off to the building. So it's it's called prefabbed or something like that? Basically prefabbed? Prefabbed. Yeah, everything's already made. Yeah, prefabricated. Hey, but they probably probably already made those. Like some machines made those shits probably. You know what I mean? I think China people are making it. But is is that that bad? No, no, no. It's bad as taking people's jobs, but it's not bad. So, okay, okay. We are buying it from over there, right? Cheaper. Cheaper, yeah, and it's come. It comes here, and we're not building. That's our I mean, biggest ally. Too. So all them people, they're gonna be out of work in the, what? How many years? Least you know, like yeah. ten, like. but you know what? Check this out. I feel like if there's an earthquake, they, they still gotta it gotta be earthquake proof because everything that's built in the Bay Area in California, mm-hmm. it's because of the earthquake. It's, yeah, it's you know we, proof, we're yeah. we're like waiting for the big earthquake. Yeah, yeah. So we're building stuff differently now, but they're. The way of building shit is a little bit different, so I'm not sure if it complies to to everything. But that was my point of view: is that I, I'm seeing in the future that it's a good thing that we're building cheaper, but maybe the the, the jobs are uh, for the other guys that they're gonna be wiped out in a few years. Yeah, I don't think that they'll allow it to uh, come over here though if it don't pass code, right? Yeah, well, yeah, because it's already set to build. Yeah, so, I mean, I asked, I was like, "Is this the first building?" Because I never seen this. It was an Asian girl too. She was like. No, this is actually quite one of the few um, buildings. And I was like, which one's the other one? She's like, they're in L.A. And I was like, oh, damn. She showed me a video of how they were just stacking them. L.A. is looking dope in L.A. How they're just stacking them, bro. So I'm like, wow. 
It makes sense though, because everybody in LA is losing their house right now. You know, everything's Everybody getting is. so expensive. Crazy, everybody's getting man. pushed out. So yeah. w- one thing too, one thing too. So the way that they're bringing them over here is the way that China is built too in China. Mm-hmm. So if you see the rooms, how remember how we were talking about last time? Like every the Western, invasion. everyone in China, they they have the rooms that they have like a cage. They're like dogs. Yeah. Food. I, I feel like we're gonna become over, like them. They're, they're like making us. Kind of that way, squeezing us in, yeah, squeezing because Frisco, like, <laughs> but Frisco. but it's it's more like because there's being there's too many people That's on exactly the earth what they're doing. That's why they're building like, up. So there's so many people on the earth. They yeah. got to figure out a way to make it all work now. It's yeah. like China, China, China already figured it out. They stack big top skyscrapers. Yeah, that's why they're C3. stacking up subdivisions in, yeah. over here in, in our city right now definitely. too. Like, yep. And they just for more people to move in out of town. You know who was talking about something like this too? Uh, that man Charleston White was always talking about this like. They just packing us in these towns like dogs. You feel me? Like, yep. And and they kicking out the poor people and making them go somewhere mm-hmm. else and packing us in this in these towns like dogs. You feel me? Yep. Which which, I mean, yeah. now that you now that you look at it, all the murder rates higher, was setting everything higher because yeah. they're all on top of each other and the yeah. heat's just making it more worse. Bro, I had this. There's this uh, movie on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Man, I always forget. I mean, the movie, but it's like in a European uh, movie, and and it's it's about that. Yeah. It, the movie is about the buildings. Mm-hmm. They're cities now. Yeah. You don't, you don't come out the city no more. Kind of like building. New York. Yeah. You don't come out the building no more. So, oh, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't know New York life. Yeah, it's your own shit. Yeah, yeah like New York got their own like little things and they're building candy houses. You know what I'm saying? Soda houses. You can project. go over there and get it's a project. It is a project, but it's it, it, subdivision. It, yeah. In New York, it's called boroughs, right? Boroughs, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, okay. they, Complexes they call them shit. boroughs. But, yeah, but you know what I wanted to. Uh, wow. Now, now that we talk about uh, yeah, Charleston White, for a he, while. Charleston White was bringing that up, and nobody wanted to listen to. You know how they don't never want to listen to him. Now that I bring up Charleston White, though, did y'all hear about Charleston White uh, pepper spraying Soldier oh, Boy? Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> I didn't recently. see him pe- pepper spray Soldier Boy. Nah. Yeah, he pepper spray. Video, you can pull it up. I don't know yeah. if they have a video. No, it's not a video. It's just like a talk. I think. Yeah. Hold on, I think it's this one right here, but it might be Soldier Boy. Go to Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy was talking about. Soldier Boy was talking about it. Is Definitely, he, he he talking about it too. First Not in the pink, the fourth one, the fourth one. <laughs> oh, okay. He said he's the first to be pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear this guy for a little bit. This nigga said uh, he pepper sprayed him and they started running. He said, "How did one motherfucker beat up all y'all?" Because I guess allegedly ten of them walked up to him like, "Hey, we want to talk to you." And he just pulled it out like nuts. Nah, yeah. But I mean, that's just what I read. It's not. It's not what I saw. It's just nah, what I read. He pepper sprayed some hoes. <laughs> nah, that ain't no hoes shit. How you feel like that? How you feel like it was some hoes shit? Look at me, some hoes. Come on, bro. Some hoes shit. He be talking. Hold on, hold on. Two niggas might have to regroup and leave me alone. He said niggas might have to regroup. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's some hoes shit. That's some hoes shit. Hey, I'm <laughs> that nigga say you walk around with Mason, you goddamn right. Shout out Charles and White, man. Hey, man uh, shout really out to this nigga. Though. Hey, now. What do you think happened, though? Like, without even without us knowing really that much, what do you they think happened? They probably try to run up on him, and he just, oh, my God. Uh, you paranoid? He probably talked some shit. They were just trying to make Yeah, he got Soldier Boy was probably with some, like, ghetto-looking ass niggas, some bloods or something from L.A., and they probably ran up on him. He That's the only way he could defend himself. Like, I was watching these other bodybuilders. Oh, yeah. I watched these bodybuilders that be they be lifting weights and shit. This morning, one bodybuilder muscle in them. Yeah, they be he, playing basketball and shit. Uh, yeah, he put a, a big boy shit. in them, a b- big boy and uh, Stacks been arguing back and forth. And Stacks, uh, they they both in Houston right now at this fitness show. And big boy wanted to fight him, and Stacks pulled out a knife. And they try to say that Damn. they try to say that Stacks is a bitch, but big boy is like two seventy and Stacks is two hundred. Now I commented on the page and I said to myself, <laughs> "Hey, I said to my, I said myself, like, well, in prison, this happens every day. Like, no big ass or no little ass dude is gonna let some big ass dude just beat his face in. You feel me? <laughs> like that? That's it's that's not gonna happen. That's why boxing has weight classes. You feel me? Yeah. So I was like, they was like, oh, he's a bitch because he pulled out a knife. But the way I look at it, like, nah, he ain't no bitch. Because hey, what is he supposed to do? Let your big ass pound his face in? Like, that's like if somebody was smaller than me and I tried to fight him. You feel I'm me? To pull, pull the, it, and it's not bad. I wouldn't I wouldn't say a steel. motherfucker. I wouldn't say a nigga's a bitch. That means that if you don't rush him now when he has that knife, then maybe you're the bitch. Because if you feel like you're that bad, you rush him with that knife like in prison. 
You feel me? Because there's ways to get around that shit. Yeah, so when I say, like, with this pep, like, that, that, that was a knife on the bodybuilders. This is pepper spray. On 10 people. On 10 people. So you mean to tell me, like, y'all didn't stomp this nigga out after he pepper sprayed y'all? Come on, bro. Bro, they couldn't see shit. Bro, yeah, I would have. He said bro. they cleared out. He said, I done cleared them all out. Yeah, to regroup. They bro, to regroup. <laughs> on everything I love, I didn't got pepper spray. I didn't been in riots. I didn't got pepper spray. The balls. It, it it throws you off, bro, but like you can still sock somebody in their mouth if you wanted to. You feel you me? Know, them niggas bro, wasn't ready I see people that. get pepper sprayed at, at the club. Yeah, they said that's worse than getting shot. They really shit. can't do shit, bro. They're, what? The I, the niggas that I seen get big old fools that were fighting, they got pepper sprayed. They just fell <laughs> sl- like straight on their back, bro. Just slapped the back floor, bro. Like I seen niggas get pepper sprayed. Yeah, I never got into no pepper spray shit. Like hey, one thousand. I seen. I got pepper sprayed at UOP, I but I feel like pepper spray shit. But I ain't UOP. Not. Yeah, when we was per- fighting in, the, in oh, at, at, a, at a football game, we was in the saying. stands, nigga, and uh, <laughs> it was hella niggas, and we just started fighting big ass rumble. But uh, I got pepper sprayed at UOP, but I feel like, like I said, like. If you got close to me, I still can sock you. Like I, I can see, but I can only see blurry. But like I'm not gonna stop. Hitting whatever's if in really there. Yeah. Look. If you're really trying to fight, you still yeah. gonna. You know what I'm saying? It, it, but it is gonna throw you off because it throws off like your your sinuses and shit. You start coughing and sneezing and shit, especially the prison one. You feel me? But I mean, this shit right here, bro. If, no if ten spray. niggas, fuck that. If ten niggas ran from a bottle of pepper spray, then nigga, maybe they not really with it. You feel me? I don't I mean, know. This shit really went in. It must. He must. He must have had some accurate ass aim and shot him straight in their eyes. Cause nigga, I don't know. That's some hoe ass shit. Like nah, I, that shit sprays. Like, like I can yeah. see. If I can see. Shit, it'll get everybody. I know, but I can see. You right though, dude. I can see big boy in the stack situation. Nigga pull out a knife, even though big boy's two seventy and hella swole, and he been boxing. He like, nigga, I'm not finna rest this. Nigga, he got a knife. Feel me? He can just stab me yeah. in my neck and it's over. I can see that. But like, I don't know. But why did what's your name have a knife though? So that's who the other dude. Yeah, because. He's 270, that's why? No, the, the smaller dude had the knife, Stax. You feel me? Stax had the knife. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I feel, I feel like he oh, was... He was scared or something. Go go to the video, man. Matter of fact, yeah, let's play the video, see, man. I see these niggas, man. Let's play the video, man. Fuck it. This video? No, you're talking about the uh, put, put Stax. S-T-A-X. Uh-huh. It's just him by himself. Oh, no, put Big Boy. My fault. Put Big Boy because it'll, 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 it'll make it more oh, simple. Cool. Strength Big cartel, boy. the top one. Okay, and then go to the right there, the first one, right there. Okay, now make it big. So who's, so who's that? Now go, keep going. What's up, fool? That's the count, dog. Me and you, right here. Who, who is he? That's him. That's Big Boy, and then that stacks right there, the dude in the, in the white. Look how small he is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He now, knows already, he knows. But is he wrong for pulling out that knife? That look shiny, no. though. He's not, right? No, because he approached him like that. He approached him like that, right? No, 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 fucking. So it is what it is after that. That's how I look at it, too. Alright, let's stop this. What that fool say? He probably called him out on some shit, but if you called him out, then He's he like, got a man up, like he said, though. But he going to meet that someday. One day. But he don't have to. He like to me. Oh, they, they, he don't. They're at the, um, yeah, they're at the Hilton. Fucking, they're at the hotel. But look, uh, to oh, me, sure fucking... to me, nigga, he don't gotta throw hands if he don't want. What you you think he has to throw hands? No, nah, but I'm saying it's coming. It's come. Oh, it's gonna come where he gonna catch him slipping now yeah, for pulling for out sure. the knife for, for sure. It's yeah, two times. What you think? Now. You think he has to throw hands with that big ass nigga? I mean, I I have seen fights like that, you know. Off me too. You, who called him but out? I mean, did he call him out? Why did he the big me? dude just tried to rush him? You see him? Know, but why did he um come over there? Because he made a video exposing him. Because big boy be like getting all of his uh bagging all of his homie making jokes as soon as the camera come on, like making them look stupid. They all lift weights and he be making jokes on all of them. Yeah. His cousins and everybody like one of them funny niggas. Yeah. And Stax was like, "Oh, you be making fun of niggas. You don't be paying them right." You 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 said uh. You don't even. He said, "Why is Stacks in Texas working out with Mayates?" And he was like, "Then he started making videos with Cali Muscle." He was like, "Just yeah, so he just asking for it." He said, "Just to just to make it look like he's cool with black people." You feel me? So he's so like, this, Nigga. "These are all bodybuilders, just oh, yeah." These ain't no rappers. They, they nah, these niggas just these niggas are just no, they lift weights and shit. So they don't take roids no more. They they probably all take roids. Fuck. They all got they, they all take they all trucks. take roids. Those are big ass trucks walking around and shit with little trucks. <laughs> 
the way I know about them is shrimp. because I like fitness. So like I know about probably every fitness. Um, you got shrimp too. Shrimp what? <laughs> Penis steroids. <laughs> nah, hell nah, nigga. <laughs> nah, you know if this nigga took roids, he'll be like this. If he took roids, yeah. Oh, eight, 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 eight. Nah, I got long pole. But look, <laughs> keep, keep it one thousand. <laughs> hey, well look, uh, taking steroids, it don't really um. It make you like do more and get bigger, but it gives you like so many side effects, nigga. That that shit ain't worth it. You feel me? Like, even but your it, brain, even in your uh, like your mental mental health. It fucks with your mental. It fucks with like your blood pressure. It fucks with like your liver. Yeah, it fucks with your kidneys. Yeah, it does. Well, yeah, it it like, I took it and it was it was making me have mood swings. Like I'll be all cool and go, ah, just be tripping. Yeah. Going well, off. Yeah, everything you take, your your kidney. It's yeah, like, I stopped taking that takes shit. It, yeah, it takes everything. Yeah, because that, so that you might be right. So I yeah, be hella swollen and shit. But it does make you like it makes you go harder it makes you lift more weight the more weight you lift the bigger you gonna be you know what i'm saying no matter how you look at it you know what i'm saying so it does make you lift more weight so that's probably the only the only benefit to it but uh like you said it makes you have a shrimp pp you feel me it makes your dick start getting smaller shriveling up you feel me maybe that's because you get bigger huh it just looks smaller on you no it's because the testosterone because you're using like it's making your body maximize the amount of testosterone it makes or some shit like that so it's like Takes taking it, it out of your dick and taking it out of your balls oh, and shit. taking it out of all those places that you need that shit you feel me so it, it's 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 cool if you want to be that type of buff maybe after 50 yeah right? that's just maybe after 50 but you could be strong <laughs> but some people are addicted to that but, shit but, but, but you could but you could be strong shit. as fuck without being big like you oh, don't yeah. that's, I, met, I met people who are hella strong they're like, strong they as like fuck me. and they, they, ain't, they ain't hella swole they'll probably knock you out with a half of a punch you feel me and so I don't know I don't look at it like oh I gotta be hella big walking around like yeah, that's just nah. that's just for show because like yeah, me I know nice. I train every single day bro like I know what I could no, do to I'm a person I don't need to be hella yeah. swole you feel me I don't need the size to back that up you feel me you need to know what the fuck you could do you feel me so uh, a steroids only good if you want to be show and go you feel hey, me uh, yeah, if you want to be too? a bodybuilder no if you want to be show and go like go outside and the just bitches look at you that's and... only creatine right there yeah you know what I'm saying just water. that's showing hey, like you said though that's that little dick disorder that shit. That's it is that type <laughs> shit. that's facts that's though that little dick disorder nigga we call that uh, LD LD LDD hey, LD. Dick <laughs> LD. that's what will be at work damn boy. We, I'm allergic to LBS and you'd be like what the fuck is that a little bitch syndrome. You, you got little a little bitch syndrome over here. <laughs> yeah, everything's uh, abbreviated now. Shit. Nigga, that is, though. That's some little bitch syndrome. A lot of niggas be having little bitch syndrome, nigga. And hey, we ain't even finna talk about that, man, because I know a couple yeah, niggas can't acknowledge right that, now man. they got a little bitch syndrome. Hey, at work, that's what I was telling you guys. Like, at work, too, they'll fucking talk to your ass like you're a dog, bro. Like, that's not okay, but like I, that's I mean, why I don't know if I can take that shit. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it depends who you. Okay, we'll be at work like laughing, like, hey. But once, it it depends how you know how to play with people. Like, like me, you know, I don't. Yeah, some people I, got sense of humor, and yeah. some people gonna ha- like, can't handle it. Like, but see, if I was at the job with y'all niggas, look. Yeah, they hate me. Because I'm gonna say, because you you from the inside, I'm telling you from the outside looking in, nigga. I wouldn't even play with nobody though. Cause you know how you say you want me yeah, to work yeah. there, you want me yeah. to work there and shit. I wouldn't play with nobody because at the end of the day, like, nigga, really, this ain't a game. We at work, you feel me? And then like, nigga, this ain't no game. Like I said, I don't even gotta say it no other way. You feel me? Like, it's You're not a game. About People camaraderie and shit. He's talking about camaraderie. Like we could be cool and be like, hey, how you doing? Whatever we do, how your how, how your family doing? Where we? But we don't need to tell jokes on each other and shit, my nigga. Like oh, yeah, this ain't. Your sister, but that's nigga. how that's how Mexicans are though too. That's cool, but I'll, I'll be like, nigga, this ain't deaf comedy jam, nigga. Yeah. Like you niggas wanna you, you niggas wanna be people like yeah. You know, there's people like that everywhere. Niggas nah, like there's not. Like, no, hell no. Nah. There's no people like that at your job. Hell no, nah, nigga. On people all the time. Nigga, ain't, oh, okay, maybe on other people. Never like to, to me because I don't joke oh. like that with people. You feel Wait, me? That's what I mean. Like yeah. you, you got other people that clown all the time. Like you yeah, know, every job. Someone, yeah, yeah every you're right. Job. Everybody, there are there always is somebody that's hella funny and goofy and shit. Yeah, no matter what. But I don't know. I just don't play with people like that because then that gives them the room to. Yeah, yeah, you make room to, uh, you build yeah. hate, you yeah. build yeah. jealousy. Yeah. Then he That's starts saying some real jokes. Yeah. Like, nigga, uh, you be like, what the fuck you just say, my nigga? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom <laughs> nigga. We ain't friends, nigga. Got another case. We so. already started that bagging on each other, nigga. This ain't. You already shooting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nigga. But what you, what you got for us next, busy man? Man, this shit they doing nowadays is blowing my mind, bro. What what the fuck they is doing, going on now, man? Man, they're using this dead body, this old, um, 
What they call it in cadavers? Yeah. They use their body for like research and shit. Yeah. And they put a, a pigs. They're starting to put animals' hearts oh, in yeah. them, trying to blend them in with ours and to transplant us and shit. Like Th- they've been doing that. Uh, I read about that, bro. They're doing it in different states, right? How yeah. they uh, they they doing it with pigs? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're they're doing experiments, but they die. They'll be like, yeah. oh, the patient will live a day. And then he'll yeah, die. Just, and they said, oh, oh, it's just research. Like, damn, you're just fucking using bodies just to do shit like that? It's fucking- yeah, bro. You know why I believe y'all niggas, too? Because they can't do that shit in the United States. But if they go in another country, they yeah. can try that shit all day. So they yeah. had a CIA over there doing it. You feel me? Yep. That's why I believe y'all oh, niggas believe on this shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They have a whole the other... pig mother- was genetically modified, bro. Yeah. So they built the pig up itself, bro. Killed the pig, took his heart, and then gave it to the... Bro, so, you know, you're talking about that right now? So they're using uh, the robots. They're this was in New York. What? University. What? Oh, university? They better get sued. They, uh, they can't do that shit. It's right? a human research study, though. Researchers. But maybe that person signed over their yeah, uh, rights for, for consent. Sure. Yeah. That's She's different. She's 72 years old. So you know what I was talking about? Them robots. Oh, no. Never mind. They're using, they're using uh, skin now around the robots. Oh, yeah. I heard about that, too. That's sick as fuck. So they're, they're testing... Um, to cure themselves you know how we get cut and we start like healing ourselves yeah yeah now the robots can do that now yeah but how, how y'all feel about that though would you use a um pig's heart if you could live like it's like damn we can only get you a pig's heart man well, <laughs> actually it's going there that's what they hey, want that just sound funny as that's what i'm saying though, we can only get you a pig's heart if there's like hey busy we got these joints from you but they from a <laughs> hey, horse and shit talking about i think all that random horse, horse joints. random motherfucking horse joints I'm and, and that niggas. pig heart nigga. Ah. i'm gonna say some deep shit right now that i just Real popped shit. in my head uh, huh. so you know united states is all about uh like creating uh i say diseases and then trying to cure them no, nah, Americans want to just want to kill us. That's all. No, no, that's what it is. Like you know. No, nah, he said know, it right. You know, in Canada, how that it's more about health. It, like they'll take care of you. Mexico too. They'll they'll try to take care of you. Yeah, because we here, got so much people here. Over here, they just it's just like a testing. We'll just test yep. all this shit on you guys. Like, here, take all those this commercials, shit. Commercials. How you be like? Yeah, oh, take you this took shit. this shit. It's now you got you. cancer. Yeah. Like, man, bro. But y'all told me to take that shit three times a day. Like fuck. And then now you gotta call a doctor. So I mean, there's even a commercial. That they're giving you money now. It's just getting you know how they're giving you money. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like beat a lawsuit or something. But hell no. Nah. Yeah, man, that was the first of this kind though. They just trying to put hearts on people, pig hearts and shit. I mean, I, I feel like that's that's dope. I mean, that's dope. It's uh, how, <laughs> how, it, it ain't bad because. A lot of people don't want to die. They want to live long, bro. That's why they try to work out every right. day and be healthy. They ain't trying to just work out and be healthy for no reason. They're trying to live as long as no, they can. They ain't even trying to work out. They're just trying to live longer now, huh? Yeah, some people, though, don't deserve to live longer because they ain't trying. Like, a lot of these people it's in this world, money. yeah, they ain't, they ain't even fucking trying to get no further. So what the fuck is you even trying to live long for? You feel me? Like, Yeah, you're supposed to travel this. <clears throat> they almost like making the world worse. You know what I'm saying? Slowing it down. Hey, I think we're going there, though. We're, we're living. We're going to live longer, maybe. Yeah. Maybe when we're like in our 60s. Yeah. Hope to God we get there, you know, but hope, maybe in that, that time. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, you can live longer now. Yeah. I'm, yeah, it's getting so ugly though in the world right now. Like, I believe I believe we're gonna be able to live longer one day. I believe that they're gonna be able to cure diseases. Say like in another 50, 60 years that we would have been dead. Oh. We, I mean, we die of these days. You feel me? I mean, I can see the shit coming, but only the rich though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are gonna have to pay for it at first, and then it's gonna become like common. It's like if they get a HIV um, vaccine. You're going to have to pay for it at first. I believe it's going to be a big ticket. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a one man selling it. And then after a while, I feel like it'll be like something that the healthcare takes over because they need to cure HIV. But I feel like certain things are still going to be kept quiet so everybody don't know about it because I don't think they want everybody to live. Yeah, I don't think they want everybody sure to live at the end of the day. But sure now, now that you said uh, HIV, you know, they're, they're doing a shot where for AIDS. Mm-hmm. So when. To take away the AIDS uh, test. So, okay, I'm saying it wrong. When If you have AIDS, I guess there's a shot that when you take it mm-hmm. and you take the AIDS test, it shows that test that you're low. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just started making those. What do you I mean? mean so, like, your, your levels it. your levels are low? Yeah. I, like, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what's that good for. Like, you're lying to yourself and lying to everybody. That's what they do. They sell you a lie, bro. It's, like, so bad. It's so sad out here. 
I don't know. Like, I feel like that, yeah, that's not good if you have. Because there's it. some people that got the, the cure and shit, and they're charging fucking hell so much that like you can't even afford it. And then, then the other people are like, here, take this. This will work for you. And then make some love, but they still, you know what I mean? All I know, they're a bunch of people, they're, they're making money off yeah, of. Yeah, they off, just want your money. Off of uh, medical use, uh, pills, shots, sickness. Now, like COVID, I feel like. The stock market made so much money off when COVID started, bro. Oh, yeah. Just just the whole um, example. that like, at this era right now, we're just making a bunch of money. If you know how to make it, you're going to make money off of this uh, new diseases that are coming up, too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's their, the name of the game is to make diseases so that they could um, make Control you pay for a vaccine or... I don't know. I think, but I think it's, they already know it's like a loop. Like, that's how they make money at the end of the day. Perfect. Yeah. They finance themselves. Yeah, they make saying? the disease and they make the medicine and just fuck yeah. us both ways. And right? then finance yeah. themselves and make themselves richer, right? Yeah. If we said it right, fuck us both ways. Yeah, fuck us both ways. That's that's a good point, too. Good way to put it. Just a damn monopoly board, bro. It's sickening. Yeah, what, what, you, what else you got to talk about, my nigga? Vic, man. Man, I did that, man, through the whole week, bro, you know. That's through the big. things that I live like that's what I try to say all the time yeah the things that I live you know things that affects me or the bring people around mic. me bring up your mic a little bit you know, you know the people around me cause how up nigga how it affects everybody bro yeah so I'll be right I'll, I'll be writing my notes down I'll be like damn bro I'm like I'm gonna forget about this shit though so I gotta write this shit down you know I'll be like that yeah, yeah. yeah. um I, I write my notes down too though. I got to Cause like yeah. if, if you don't If you don't got your notes Nigga this shit ain't finna roll So <laughs> I, I was seeing uh, You know Same shit Oh you know Biden keeps being a clown uh, Talking about COVID You know What you about mean what, what What is Biden doing wrong I keep hearing I keep no. seeing little clips of Biden What is he doing wrong now He's man? not even really bro, he's, 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 he's old senile. He's, he's just, just senile. old now bro He's old as hell. So I you guess. feel like he ain't making good decisions? And, and another question I got for y'all, matter of fact, He's let's trying. piggyback off that right quick. So what decisions is Biden making wrong right now, in your opinion? So since the beginning, he, you know, you, we're talking about when he first got elected, he was talking about the energy. Yeah. And then now he's trying to be like, oh, should we do a, a national, uh, what is it called for the... Uh, what what is it for the natural resources? Yeah, you never know for about the him, gas. Man. You know what I'm talking about? Because you know after he got in, the gas went up. Yeah, and then I kept saying that shit way before before he was president. You know he was he was gonna fuck up everything. But besides that, um, what I was talking about uh, that he just uh, got tested with COVID. He just got tested with COVID, so hopefully this guy. Makes it to that shit. Yeah, but he probably going to see that, too, because um, him having COVID, I mean... I think he already been there. Yeah, well, no, they got a they got a cure for it. So, basically, he finna get the real cure, and then yeah. we finna move on. They get all That's that it. shit first. Yeah, yeah we, we finna move on with that, because he, he, he going to get the real cure. And the thing about it is, too, you know, when we talk about Biden and we talk bad, to me, in my opinion, he trying to do what's good for the environment, right? Like, his whole agenda is like, because if you look outside, nigga, it do be getting hella hot now, right? And the water... controlling all that shit. But what the water from the lakes is draining, you feel me? And and that's not just to do with them controlling it, though. That is from the sun getting closer to the earth. Just scientific shit, feel me? And it's, it's starting to make the earth too hot. And you can tell sure, because... you can feel it. What the fuck? Because when we was young, 92 was hot. Remember? Remember that? Y'all remember? 92, 94, it was Stay hot. Out all night, sleep outside. Yeah, 94, it was hot. We was fucking burning up, 92, 94. And now, all of a sudden, it's like 104, 104. 105. We hit 117 before. Yeah. Yeah, hey, for sure. Back talking about days. that heat, uh, I was just looking at uh, UK. Yeah. UK is not... Okay, if you guys know the map, UK, Dude. United Kingdom is like... Yeah, it's getting hot. It's on the too. top top where it's always like cold. Yeah. It's colder over there. Mm -hmm. So, right now... It's Just going crazy. Away. It's going crazy on the news that everybody's at the beach. Everybody's enjoying the kind of like a California, kind of yeah, weather. The, they got yeah. our weather over there. That kind of California life that we're talking about. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And everyone's enjoying. I mean, it's fucking hot over there, but they're they're talking about oh, it's so hot, it's breaking uh, records, and they're cooking eggs outside on the floor. Yeah. And even Texas is over there uh, saying that it's hotter than California when they're kind of going at it. You know what I'm saying? But you're right, what you were saying. Nah, but so my thought was, 
after that, is Biden really wrong? Like his initiative, it might be more uh, money on our pockets, but is it um, wrong? Because like the the world is getting fucking hotter, bro. I just see it getting worse with him, man. So I don't know. He but I don't know if he's (sighs) real. Okay, look, I'm gonna. I don't know if he's really making. But I don't know the little things that really don't matter. Because Donald Trump. Was more famous, so when when Donald Trump did something, it was I like I didn't like him either, though. I know, but he did, went, but he did a he lot, did way more shit than he did a lot. A lot of that's people. what I'm saying. He did a lot. I ain't gonna lie, and that's sad. A lot, a lot faster too. Like he made that shit happen quick. Like he did do like a lot. How long he been saying, "Oh, I'm gonna send stimulus checks," and I ain't seen shit. Like he's always just talking. He don't know what he's talking. He's saying about. Biden, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Biden talking. don't know what the fuck he's doing. No, nah, that nigga ain't gonna give a shit though. That nigga ain't trying to get no free money out. He nigga. just likes us to keep us watching. Like. He 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 has it. Say that he has the person above him, which ain't no fucking president. It's somebody whole different. For sure, telling him like we need to get all that money back that we gave these niggas exactly. from all these little free ads. We need to get that back we because that gas money back. Nigga, we need all that back, and they they getting there because now the gas going back down it has nothing to do with nothing else and a lot of people be thinking it has a, uh, something to do with something else but it don't nigga. and i seen some shit the other day like oh they're gonna send another stimulus like bro so you know how you're saying that that he, okay I, I don't really really believe it's you know how we're making all that smog in our cars because of the gas they just wanna yeah. keep you on it yeah I don't believe that's making um like they need the, they, the, 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 the world hot you know how they're like oh it's becoming uh it's more the factories it's okay i don't believe it's <coughs> i don't believe it's um that like what do you think of it because it, it was written on the bible already so like you know it's happening to that you know what i'm talking about he's saying that those the days are gonna get harder too bro like yeah you know and then the bible says a lot of stuff in details that's happening now For like sure. another thing too you know um i have a Fair lot of family i have sure. a lot of family that's you know uh, I don't want to say the word that uh, don't they want to be with a man with male? You know, I have family that's like that, bro, and and um, it's like that now. You know, now it's, can I can I tell you something? Uh, I watched this thing, and then just take away what I'm saying, however you want to take it. I watched this couple talk about they were like eighty, they were like eighty seven or something like that. No, no, no. The dude was eighty seven. The lady was ninety three. They were talking about how the Bible used to be different. It didn't even it didn't even used to be the same Bible, right? Yeah, like they said they rewrote the, it so many times. They rewrote it, but they said that the government rewrote it, right? Yeah. This is what the, 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 the old people are saying in this interview. The the government rewrote the Bible because they're controlling what happens in the world and they have like a the ten, history. Yeah, so yeah. they're controlling like it by ten years, twenty years. So they're they're using those chapters as ten years, twenty years, thirty years, forty years, fifty years. All their lies are starting to come out, bro. Like, yeah, and they mixed it in the Bible, and that's what the old lady said. Her belief is because when she grew up, she said the Bible did not say these things, and she was a very sharp lady. Like she wasn't like senile just because she was ninety three. She was very there. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, it's not the same word as it was. Yeah. And she yeah, was like, yeah, I yeah. wish I could have had yeah, one of my yeah. old ones to yeah. show you guys. One word doesn't mean now. She was like, and she was you like, know, someone still got it. And she was like, it's weird because just like all a lot of things switched out of here. Like, yep. and and it, and what, when I seen when I seen that old lady say that, bro, it just made me just water down. I mean, it made me think like somebody rewrote the book. No, like I can't trust none of these people. Hey, and, but you and, know, and, and put out a, and put out a, you know what, a, a master copy, and then said, "Hey, this is the new thing." You feel me? And y'all got a listener, you're gonna get yeah. killed. Because back yeah. in those days, could nobody say that this person was walking around killing everybody if they didn't listen? You know what I'm saying? So you got to go buy this book, or else you're gonna get like killed. Yeah, that shit wasn't really happening when we were younger. Like it's that. weird though, because what the weirdest part about all this shit, bro, is what you just said. What's in the book is what's happening. What's coming? Yeah, for sure. Right. Uh-huh. It's almost the like rapture. it's almost like someone wrote it. Yeah. And they're controlling yeah. the world. Yeah. And it's almost weird when you really think about it. like and the old says, lady said. Uh, countries will be at war, people will be at famine. And there is cities you know? will be scorching. It's and, all and, yeah, pull it up, bro. You remember you remember the Truman show? Yeah, that's the Truman show, the movie? movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trippy. I, I feel like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I used to feel like my life. I was feel like that all the time. I swear, I was all like, damn. I'd be like, is it me controlling me, or is it is it you? It has to be. It's something else controlling you. It might be God or whatever, but I don't know what it is. But I know that something, yeah. something. Nah, uh, everything I would want it happen, and it's crazy. Like, but something sometimes, bro, is just something like it feels like something's controlling you, bro. Almost like you know what you're gonna do next. Like it's weird, bro. 
It's that so intuition, what, what, what bro. You, what you want me to look up, it's bro? That intuition. But, um, Bible scripture of um, of today. What is it? Oh, oh, I thought I know what you're talking about. Where it says all that. What verse is that? What psalm or whatever. But yeah, bro. That's that's what that's one thing that kind of creeps me out, bro. Yeah. How what? how it's not just you know how uh so uh we all know that the world got uh destroyed by water and and now they're saying in god says that he's gonna destroy it with fire now so he, he made son. a prior he, he made a promise my bad he said that he's not gonna uh you know drown anymore and there's over 230 anti-government like people are revolting against the government to try to Cause they know this shit's fucked up, bro. Well, I, I can see the whole spin around now. I can see how how us is going against God. You know how we don't have God in our prayers no more with at school. They're trying to take it out. Exactly. Like, That's the devil at work. That's some sick shit, bro. Cool, like, like all this. Uh, how you sure switch is. it up now? Like how are you gonna? But it's it? not. See, that's where we get it messed up again because it's not. Um, the schools taking it out. It's the government once again. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. government is controlling all this stuff, which makes you believe that. Wait a minute. They want these things to happen because when you They're had God, right now, when bro. you had God in school, right? When you had God in school, mm-hmm. kids didn't turn out like this. They had morals, right? These kids these days at school, they no ain't got morals, no morals. They, they'll bring guns. Zombies. They'll spit on the teacher. They'll put them on Instagram, slap them in the back of the head. Beat them up. On, yep. Bro, so it's, it's almost like they want this shit to happen. They want chaos. They want this shit, bro. It's like a simple, calm world. It wasn't working. For the way that their plan had to go. You feel me? Somebody has a master plan. And um, like whoever in their family, it's going to go on for generation after generation after generation. Whoever controls it, they're going to keep controlling it. I feel like it's some kind of, you know, cult or whatever it is, bro. I don't know what it is because I'm not. So, you know, if you if you if you stick to that idea, bro, I'm going to tell you this, bro. So, yeah. So you stick to that. You want to find out who they are and you start like digging this is what this is where I got to that um those groups that make the the laws and I kept telling you guys that it's the trilateral commission it's the uh, the you can say Illuminati's are like the lowest ones yeah the Templar yes yeah, so you can say those bro two. they said that Obama's related to George Washington Abraham Lincoln like he has the same type of bloodline as I believe I believe they can it's that all can weird bro it's They're all family all, like. Bunch of the presidents are connected. Oh, you know, okay, this is true. This is true. In a lot of people in the union, um, they'll be like, "How'd you get this job?" You people don't really get a job because of the um, hall. Mm-hmm. You get a job in the union because of who you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, what I'm saying like it's either who you know or it's your family. Yeah. Exactly. So I believe that's everywhere. So everybody in power is first of all your family. And then you know probably your closest people that you got or whatsoever. They said that a lot of the prisons are ran by higher government that are fucking like KKKs and shit. That's why most of the jails are filled with African Americans and Mexicans and all that shit, bro. Yeah. Now you're right about that. And when it comes to the the the, the government and the whatever the state, the Senate and all that shit, they use black people as like uh, pawns. You know what I mean? Basically, they put them out there. Put them on front street, make them look like, hey, we got a black person. You feel me? That's what I feel like about government. Like you, you know how we have the uh, black vice president right now, right? I feel like she's just a pawn. Like, and you see her, bro. Well, well, well but they need so they bad. they need this, and the reason why I'm saying all this is because they need this. Like, they without that, you wouldn't know that all them white folks is connected. You know they what I'm saying? Like puppets, because they been it's it's getting too obvious. So now they got to mix it up and blend it up and throw Obama yeah. in there. You feel me? But what y'all was both just saying? Yeah, like they been all connected, bro. This shit's all connected. Like you can only know, you can only be a president in the race, bro, if yeah. you knew wooty wop to wooty wop, or you or your your family is these people. You feel me? Like it, family tree. They yeah, like it's a, a fa- tree. it's only a certain amount of families that probably can even ever do it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I feel like shit ain't even what it seems, folks. So I, nah, because they just want you to believe one thing and it's hard to believe it because I don't believe none of that shit. Nah, because the way they run the world is like hella weird. Yeah, you feel me? It's, 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 it, and, it and, is and, like a damn chess game. And, and a lot of middle class people that was 
doing good back in remember when we was young you had the people that's crackheads now they crackheads on the street or they homeless because they got ran out of the good middle class jobs and the pay going down so low to where people can't support yeah, themselves. They suffer from that shit. Yeah. I think what happened, um, was it when um COVID was, happened? I think COVID happened, but it was something before something COVID. Similar to that. Yeah, I remember something happened. Uh, the, the the stock market or the housing market crashed. The stock market. That the house. Down. Remember the housing. Was the housing market crashed. Remember, remember yeah. when the housing market crashed and all the things, the the prices and the, the loans. The banks got in trouble for giving out so many loans people and all that was shit. Losing their houses. Yeah, a and lot people, of people was losing their homeless and shit. Yeah, and then it creeped into fucking COVID and everybody was. There out. we go. That's what happened. Everybody was homeless. Like, it was like uh, a yin and a yang. Damn. But I and think people couldn't pay their rent and shit. But I think that was a setup too, though. Like when you for look sure. at it, I think that shit. It was a setup too. For, 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 for the fittest. Like. Because look, look what it did. It increased our homeless rate like forty percent. I think it said forty percent or thirty seven percent. Let's just round it up. It's still forty percent. It's bad. I seen I seen YouTube videos where they uh, round up like the worst cities. Yeah, bro. It's basically where they're they used to be at. They're going to the na- nice neighborhoods and they're setting camp there, next to the nice parks, nice neighborhoods, because they're hiding from the Bad spots where they used to be, where they're getting they getting kicked should. out of. They should, because fuck it, like getting spooky out here. And yeah, on they the wanna... freeway. Have you seen that too? They're on the freeway, bro. And the that's what I'm saying. I should have moved off grid when I was able to, man. And that like, shit got everybody committing crime. It's just like everybody doing home invasions, just like the other day, bro. I don't know if y'all niggas heard uh, Future Baby wrong? Mama, Future's Baby Mama, the rapper. She got a niggas try to home invade her house. The police. They had a wiretap or whatever. Uh, they they wiretap one of the suspects' phones, and then they was watching these niggas. These niggas hit like fifty home invasions in the, in the Atlanta uh, Atlanta area. The police or the some robbers. The robbers hit uh, fifty home invasions, and they've been watching these niggas because they've been hitting so many people. Oh, damn. Just so happens they was watching Future Baby Mama house. They intercepted some calls, and them niggas tried to kick in the door, man, and a robber. You feel me? So like, when you look at it like that, it's like the the, the up and coming generation now, bro. It's like they ain't got no opportunity. Because even if you did work a job, you probably can't even support yourself because you don't make enough. Because the rent too high. So if it, think about it. You need a car to get to work, right? So you're going to have to pay a car note. Or you're going to have to put gas in the car. You're going to have a secondary expense. You might have insurance. You feel me? You might have a nah, phone bill. It's too much for them. You're right. It's too much for and, them. So it's like, man, I'd rather go rob these motherfuckers. You feel me? And now they're robbing all these stars. Just like the other day, they broke inside Gunner's house while he in jail. You feel me? So it's like, what do people expect That's when they why keep? You don't put your shit on Google, man. You yeah, know. but what do they expect when people when they put us in these harsh conditions and then they make us? Uh, they I make us to survive, like you said. Yeah, but they make us almost try to make it seem like uh, everybody's wrong and shit for all the lawlessness. But it's like y'all don't even give us enough money to take care of us. I don't know how it is in Atlanta. Nah, how much they make? They're controlling the music. They're controlling everything. Like in, in Atlanta, they make less money, huh? Salary. It should be. Should yeah, be it should be. Less money. Yeah, less money because we probably I make. California is the highest fucking tax. Yeah. That's right. Especially Atlanta's getting up there, though. It's getting the next, like they said, it's getting expensive over there because a lot of people are going moving over there. Yeah. They're getting big quick. I it's, just seen, uh, we talking about that. I seen um, Texas. I'm not sure is the people that, I didn't even, I, it wasn't on gover- governor, though, because I know the governor of uh, Texas. But so supposedly they were making a meeting where, they're get a lot and it was a lot of white folks it was a lot of old white people yeah talking about um there's an invasion going on and then they're talking about a lot of latinos and mixed races going to texas but if they really don't know they're all coming from california yeah they're all from california and a lot of people and then they're from, you know california is from mexico all that california well, probably coming from, in from uh california and going over there because that's where it's at right now i heard of texas man but yeah, but you can't you can't always go at the wave because yeah. when you go you at the can't. wave, you know what they you do? They step down. they step up the law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be sure. a lot of people getting uh, uh, wrecked out there because they smoking or they driving around with guns and and they don't really fully know the laws. You know what I'm saying? Crime they go out, yeah, they going out there to party or you know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, uh, thieves, criminals. You know what I'm saying? They always oh, follow the wave. They follow the wave. So if it's hot in if it's hot in Florida, oh, for sure. we're gonna go bip in Florida. If it's hot sure. in Miami, we're gonna go whatever. You know what I'm saying? Wherever. Everywhere, nigga. So, I don't know. It's it, it's to me. It's like they just need to up the way they pay the world. 
I feel like the pay is too low to take care of yourself. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of these jobs, a lot of these businesses, they know that that's why they're getting richer than rich. When you look at these corporations, they ain't really losing money. They're gaining millions. For sure. You know? And it's weird that they would gain millions but leave their employees at a, at a you know, at a, at a salary to where you could barely take care of yourself. You feel me? It's weird how they would do that to them. You feel me? They know that's all they got, so they're going to wave it over their head like that. But that's sad. Like, that's what I'm saying. A, 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 as, a, morally, because maybe you lose a million dollars. Maybe, maybe you lose, right But maybe you lose $1 million out of the 11 that you made. So maybe you do make just $10 million this month but if, and start just making $10 million. But that other $1 million, it can go to your employees, and that could be like, what, four more dollars an hour or something? You know what I'm saying? To where people could take care of themselves, to where they ain't really got to break into your car in the middle of the night or try to jump through your window. You know what I'm saying? Look at it logically. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the government, if they want to work on something, they should work on something like that because people don't even make enough money to take care of themselves. So how the fuck can you blame a person for break? I can't even blame a nigga for trying to do something stupid. That's what I'm saying. They're forcing us to do that. Like, and I don't, and, yeah. and, I, and that, that's sad for me to sit here and say that shit. You feel me? Yeah, facts. Cause what, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's weird, bro. It's weird like as fuck. Like, everything, bro. Like, it, it makes people, like, like an example, man, rest in peace to my nigga Weddle. You know, he used to uh, play the, um, it, in Spanish, it's called Cordeon. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like those Italian, we'll play that long thing. Yeah. Uh, he used to play that all the time, and um, he passed away. And um, Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. So, I'm not sure. I'm not, it, it wasn't told, but, you know, I'm kind of, it was in my head. I was like, probably this fool. Doing too much of that shit, probably, because, you know, it was party party with this guy. And, um, right now, and I've been telling everybody that. You said, you became, said, pro you said probably he was doing it, or you know that he, he was, was doing probably, it. Probably, because I'm not, that wasn't. Well, really we can't assume, to, we can't assume on how he died if we don't know. Yeah, because, oh, well, I'm just saying, because, you know, he's, I mean, he's not even 30 yet, bro, and how you get a heart attack. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, okay. So how do you how do you have a heart attack? You're hella young, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, so no, no, you're right. You're I was right. talking about fentanyl, I'm, I'm, though. I'm not even finna go against yeah, that. Yeah, you never know what's out there nowadays, like you said. Cause so, the, cause that cause that fentanyl being everything, even just doing too much of the real blow. You know what I'm saying? It could it could nice. catch up with you. You feel me? Like a lot of these people think that you could just well when you're younger, you like could you, you huh? could no, but I think your body is uh. You can still like regenerate fast, like when you was Your twenty. Still growing. Yeah, like when you was like twenty one, twenty two, getting drunk and shit. Back in those ages, like in the morning, a hangover wasn't so bad. You know what I'm saying? But now, you go like, to work like that. Yeah, you go to work like that and you will be cool. But now these days, not no more. Not no more. You feel me? Like I'm not going to work, bro. I'm hungover. Fuck it. You feel me? Like, so it's it's a lot different. Like when you get older, like I don't know. It's just, you feel it. Yeah, you feel it, nigga. It's it's weird, bro. And like, I was telling this nigga Beezy the other day, I was telling him, like, a lot of these niggas, uh, they need to get their shit together. A lot of these niggas is being unhealthy, like. Take you one a day. Facts. One a day. Yeah, a lot a lot of people, bro, they they, they do drugs, and they don't take care of themselves, or they're always looking for, like, the latest drug, like Percocets, and, and shit that really hurts your body, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit. It, going. And then when you get the fake one, and you're doing fentanyl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, man. That's what I'm saying If the doctor ain't giving you that shit Then don't take it man. Cause you know how many people I know that didn't die off that fentanyl facts. shit bro That's mm -hmm, facts bro. And that's all I'm seeing right now It's too frequent now Like Yeah boom, Another one died of fentanyl Another one of fentanyl And it's all and Young somebody kids could like take Young something kids else. that just wanna be cool And yep. get a quick high and shit yeah, but see, they putting it in everything, nigga. They yep. putting it in the Xanax. They putting it in the Vicodin. They putting it in in, in, the, in the everything, everything now. Everything, yeah, right. so it's it's hard for you to really know. Like the only way you gonna know if you getting some real shit is if you fucking go to the pharmacy and get you a real script. Other than that, you ain't gonna really know. So potent, bro. Even if you smell it, get a raw smell, you pass out. You or like I said, it. my advice, my advice for it, like we said earlier, is if you gonna do some drugs. Go on Amazon. You're gonna have to start buying those. Go, huh? go, 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 get you some drug testing kits so you know yeah. you don't have no fan though. Yeah, because all you need, young. I know niggas be getting cocaine and be just they be savoring every single on piece of it. Shit. But I'm saying just grab a little baby piece and put it in your drug taste a uh, tester kit and find out. And you know, find out. Taster. Make sure <laughs> make sure you're doing fucking cocaine and not fucking fentanyl. Yeah, because if you snort that shit up your nose, boy. And you like allegedly, man. Be safe. Be all, safe all, man. All, all, all they need is a point four up their nose, a point Fair four yeah, mixed with the gram. You feel me? Like, cause I already know 
Like, you can't have it. They, they can only hit it with, like, a point two. They can't hit it with, like, double. Like, even a three is bad, but a three might be acceptable. But if they yeah, hit it with see, a two. you can't even enjoy your, your drugs nowadays. Niggas just trying to get over on you. Hey, allegedly, that's what I heard. That's what I'm saying. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Y'all be safe area. out there, man. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just crazy. What else you got up for us, man? Did y'all hear about Kevin Gates, man? He was in that wrestling thing on Friday. Nah. He pulled up. You might have a clip of that shit up. Yeah, he was on AEW, man. Yeah. Kevin Gates was in the crowd that's hollering in the mouth. I'm mouth. not sure I understand. What you mean? She said, I'm not sure y'all. Kevin Gates in AEW. You said he, he was in the, the crowd. He was fighting? Yeah, I think he hit somebody or something. Pull that shit up. Just pre- go, go, just click and press enter, nigga. That nigga said he was... What? Yeah, I was Okay. Was uh, oh, like he bro. tripping with somebody. Oh, like, like a little, oh, like a little party. funny little, man, play that clean. little wrestling play thing. We don't own copyrights, man. We show you a little something, man. Play a clip of it, P. Oh, uh, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it's two minutes. Make it big. You know all the glory, huh? I thought this one. Whose house? Oh, this ain't the WWE. Oh, nah, it's AEW. I like this one way better because it ain't like all that fake shit. Okay. I ain't never even seen no shit like this. It's like all the old wrestlers and shit. Okay, my nigga Kevin Gates in the building. Yeah, that nigga sipping. I see my nigga, man. That's a rapper. Man, shout out Kevin Gates. Shout out Kevin Gates, man. Hey. Hey, you know something? Album, now that we talking about my nigga Kevin Gates too, let me tell you, tell you something, man. This is the motherfucker that's talking yeah, about growth. He's inspiring the whole He talking world. about all the shit we be talking about. Like he, he it, on man. every single thing we was just talking about on this show, man. He on that conspiracy theory, growth, he knows all that bodybuilding, shit. every single thing we talking about. But defend yourself. Like he, he, he thinks intellectually, and that's like when I look at somebody like as motivation. I look as a, yeah. at a person like him. Now right. that you show me him, you feel me? Because I see him. I used to like his songs back in the day when no, he used to just struggle, bro. when he, he used to be a pain. dirty pimp. They used to just pimp girls with that one nigga Mozzie. I remember, and they used to make their little low budget ass uh, videos. Yeah, and, and right. yeah. He used to be in Cali and shit. Yeah, they used to just fuck around and do little. I I remember, bro. They used to have a little camera. Him and Mozzie. They used to do little little uh um like vlogs. You feel me? They used to show where they used to go, but they used to be like little pimps, like Filthy Rich and them used to do. You yeah. feel me? But uh, it's 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 nice seeing that a person that came from nothing grew into something. You feel me? Like, cause a lot of these young yeah, niggas, man, the gross of them. Yeah, a lot yeah. of these young niggas, they don't they don't got no inspiration these days. You feel me? Like, and and they looking up to the wrong motherfuckers. You feel me? And a lot of these people, if they don't if they don't see it, a lot of these motherfuckers is going to jail and dying. All the rappers they looking up to, they going to jail and they dying. That's it. There ain't no in between. So, once again, like I said, when I see somebody that motivated me, I just had to pause that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let everybody man, know. Shout you out me? Kevin Gates, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing Motivation your the team. speaker right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because he keep it 1,000, nigga. But uh, anyways, man, you know what I want to talk about? Talk to him, man. I want to bring this up. And this is that school shooting, right? Damn. So now you know that Uvalde shooting, right? Yeah. The thing that killed me, Vic. About this whole situation was when they was in the hallway for the forty five minutes, right? Now, yeah, I brought that up on one episode, like man. Yeah, but I never got to see the video until two weeks ago. Oh, you know, we've yeah, been out, we, we've been on the bye, we've been on the bye week. I so seen you know, video. yeah, I seen the video where CNN is basically analyzing. Um, when all the feds are right there uh, on the hallway. Yeah, and I mean, just pull it up right quick. Just put the U Valley <laughs> shooting because you know. When they, when they, what is it called again? Uh, Uvalde, 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 just put Uvalde shooting down right there. Uh, when you, when you really evaluate it right there, just you could just use that video for instance. It's 40 seconds, but oh no, 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 that's when they're being escorted. That's not it. I don't know if they're right there, right there, that one right there. Yeah, it's an hour down. Well, we don't need to see an hour of it because it, because yeah, if it took from an hour, that's that's the whole video. It, it really makes them look bad. Yeah, to all the facts. Families, Let's go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. Let's just keep going, keep going, keep going, right keep going. That's probably when they first hopped in. Yeah. Right here. Keep going. Divide. Make it big, right quick. Make it big for the viewers. Viewer discretion advice. Up, uh, nigga, okay. right there. <laughs> Now, like, now look, now let me, let me, let me, let me say something right now. You got dude right there with a chop, right? 
They all got chop. You got dude right there with chop at oh, the bottom, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Bulletproof vest, right? Thirty round clip, he I believe. Be him out there, it's thirty round clip, I think. So look, he should be in there right now. Yep, he was. They were supposed to be walking, or with, at least with a group, with like four of them in the line. Just how, I mean, that's why I always see, you know. But and, like, I'm. No, you I'm, can tell they're more concerned about their lives than all the yeah, little kids. But I'm life, from man. I'm from the streets. Once again, I got that in my hand, right? That's the mini thing to go around sure, corners. I'll be running out. I can maneuver around corners and everything with that. I'm going in. Like he has the perfect weapon in his hand right now to go. Yeah. And he got a vest on, so he can take and a, a shot at least. Yeah. So I don't know, bro. Like, and there's already one, two, three, four. Those perfect four. That's why I don't know. You gotta be. That's um, why they probably send four of them because you're supposed to go in. Like in the line, bro, and just charge in. Yeah. But look at it like right this. Out. But look at it like this. So if you fast forward this, don't play it. Just fast forward it now. Just just pull the pink thing farther. So right here, right? They should already have it, right? Okay. Now go for it. Now stop. They still stand. Right. Stop right there when it's more. Okay. Keep going. No, no. My fault. Well, a little bit up. Chop too. He got shotgun. That ain't good enough. Keep going. That's a, that's a close range right there. So, look, this he 20 minutes, up. that's 20 minutes into it, 23, 25, 25 minutes, that's your blow 28 back. minutes. That's your blow back, what, that shotgun? Fuck but you. that ain't enough against no chop. You got to go close up. Yeah. And you got to get some good shots off with that shotgun. So, this is 35 minutes. You ain't even really. He could have killed everybody already. Wow, that's appalling right there. Still that like is. 35 look, 35 minutes. minutes. Now these so niggas, look. Look they how many the, chops they got now. And they got the... Um, okay, now go. they come with that first? Let's go. That's 36 minutes. Hold on. Let, now, let's really analyze this for a second. Keep going. That's 36 minutes. It's still right there. That's 38 with chops now. With chops and shields. Why Keep going. That shit first, though, like? Keep going. 40 minutes. 42, 40, 43, 44. There's another video. Hey, they're doing no, all the that. same thing. It's one one little kid running around shooting up a school and shit. Bro, okay, keep going. There's different people now. I don't know what they're doing. No, they're they're backing up and talking to each other, like making plans. Keep going. Go that, that, Tom and Jones, that's what let's go. that's what police do. They 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 get back together and group up and and they're probably just off camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're probably hell on the side. Yeah, of it's camera. probably hell on the I side off camera. See, see they're over there fucking yeah. making plans. They ain't even went over there yet. Sure, keep so going. Disgusting. They're, now they want to gas them. After what, 40 minutes, an hour? An hour. 51, 51 minutes, yeah. Minutes. So, w w when we seen it, when he had the chop at the beginning right there, he should have been uh, eliminated the whole thing. So, when I look at it, bro, like, I wanted to analyze it with y'all, but when I look at it, it's like, this is terrible. But look, look, 56 minutes. Oh, my God. When they finally went down the hallway with so chops. it wasn't 45 minutes. It was an hour and shit. Bro, and they had chops with shields, like, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. One little kid in there doing whatever the fuck he wanted. Like, That's ridiculous. They shouldn't even have killed him. They didn't even shoot him. They just pulled him out. They killed him, I think. Oh, they did? Yeah. They should have. They shouldn't even have killed him, though. They should have fucking let him shoot at him and let, let him hit that shield and just kept rushing him and arrested him and made him feel it. Made his ass feel it, for real. You, you know what? Smarter, not harder. And you people. know what it would have been dope? You know what it would have been dope for a person that did something like that to kill all them kids? If they would have fucking like tied them up and let all the Shoot parents right, stone them, them. Yeah. nah, nah, nah oh, don't yeah. let them, don't let them die fast. Just with little those little like rocks that hurt hell hard, yeah. you throw them just stone his ass. Cause well, they used to do that shit. They, cause I feel like they gotta get their get backs on that shit. Like they should not have shot him with no bullets. Like those parents should have been able to get their get backs. Cause what he did was like out of pocket, bro. For sure, man. You feel me? Condolences to all the families. For real, for real. Condolences to all y'all families that had to go through this shit. I wanted to sure, analyze man. it and that watch this shit. heartbreaking, bro. Yeah. At first, I wasn't going to bring it up. I didn't, but like, like I said, nah, bring nah, it up, you bro. You got to shed that light on that shit. Yeah, because that, that ain't right at all. Nah, man. For real, that man. That was a whole hour. That's probably, man, I'm, I'm sick, bro. What else you got for us, man? Man, other news. Y'all hear about Elon Musk's father? He just had a kid with his stepdaughter, 35-year-old stepdaughter. That's hella weird. Yeah, man. Elon Musk ain't too happy about it either. He was raised with <laughs> her. Yeah, he was raised with her <laughs> for half his life, and he said it's kind of weird that his dad married his stepsister. So, yeah, man. It's That's his uh, sister, though, huh? It's his real sister, but it's... No, nah, it's his stepsister. Stepsister. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like... 
And you know what the dad said? We're on earth. We reproduce. That's weird. Hey, tell him he's a weirdo. That's it. We're on earth to reproduce. He shouldn't be doing no weird shit like that. That's weird, though. <laughs> shit, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, Yeah, man. Hey, it's but like, uh, next content. <laughs> hey, but next story. Shout out to uh, Elon Musk's dad, man. He's, yeah, man. Man, for all that weird He's shit. a motherfucking thinker. Hey, man. You know, you know Ryan Garcia, the boxer. Is everybody yeah. you know? That's Ryan it. Garcia, he knocked out uh, what's his name last. Who, who did he fight last night? A uh, Fortuna, yeah. So he fought Javier Fortuna. Fortuna. Yeah, Fortuna. You can put it in if you want to. He knocked his ass out. That's my boy, though. It it, it was two weeks ago. Uh, Ricky. Basically, he knocked his ass out though. Ryan, Ryan Fortuna, Ryan. I mean Ryan Garcia, oh, nigga. Yeah, Ryan verse. Garcia. I said Ricky Garcia. Yeah, nigga, we had mixed the whole name. This nigga said a different name. I just started Ricky. mixing the whole. Ryan Garcia, right there. Verse Fortuna. Tuna. Yeah, that's his name, nigga. Fortuna, nigga. Hey, shout out Tuna. Man. What you want me to change his name? Right here, right there. The first three one. Three straight rounds. Yeah, he knocks him out in three. So make this big. I, I, so he he feeding them, you know what I'm saying? As we, <laughs> as we, he's holding that nigga. Huh? He, he, he just oh, body shot, you know what I'm saying? To the chest, he was like Cuba Gooding Jr., right? That was good. That was never. <laughs> Why nigga said Cuba? Come on, Cuba. Look. Uh, but this nigga left hook is ugly as fuck. Look at him. He can't even dodge uh, his shit. Yeah, he, he dope. Yeah, shout out Ryan Garcia, man. Hey, shout man, out. Man, you need to get them fucking dipped in gold. So now this nigga, he calling out Javante Davis. He, found, he calling out yeah. Teofimo Lopez. He called he called out, out. He said Floyd Mayweather could even get it name? if he wanted, nigga. He called out Jake Palmer, too. Yeah, so, so Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. <laughs> he said Palmer, Jake nigga. Paul. Jake, yeah, Jake, Jake Paul finna fight. What's his name? Hasin uh, Rock, Rockman Jr., though. He broke his back. Who? He just broke his back. Hasin Rockman Jr. Fight. didn't no, break Jake his back. Jake Paul broke his back. No, he didn't. fight. That's, that's bad, nigga. Pull it up. Bro, I follow the fight every single day. Yeah, but he said he's still going to fight. He didn't break his fucking back. Look it up. Go put Jake Paul broke his I back. I got a close source, man. I was just talking to that nigga. Jake, yeah, this nigga said he got a close source, nigga. You should be working for ESPN, then, nigga. Bro, if you got that close that's source, nigga. Me, man. Real shit. Nigga, you should be working for ESPN, then, Jake P. P. Just hell of shit. No, Bro, back, made. nigga. You put hand. Hand. I mean, back, nigga, with a B up there at the top of the search bro, bar, bro. blood. Would it be Bitcoin? <laughs> Let me see. He broke his back. This better be yesterday, nigga. Jake Paul suffered. It looks injury. like a publicity stunt, back. but I don't know. That shit fake as fuck, nigga. He didn't break hey, his hey, back five days ago, so he probably that's bap, nigga. Look at the shorts. Go to shorts hey. right there. Play hey. the big one. Make it big. Make it big. All right. Uh, I don't think it does. That's not even a real hospital room. Bro, he's rich as fuck. Sorry, fell off a fucking. August 6th, so get your tickets at msg.com. Yeah, he probably fell off a dirt bike or something. Carrying the promotion for this event. See, that shit was bad. I told you, nigga. Hey man, shit on Jake Paul, man. That was just promotion for the fight, man. He told me. Get the fuck out of here. He is on my mind. He's like, no, no, Jake Paul, nigga. He like, man, pull that into your bit. That'll be perfect, man. Uh, man. Well, shit on Jake Paul. Hey, well, I hope he paid you a nice little chunk of change for that, my yeah, nigga. Man. Hey, but check it out, my nigga. Did y'all hear <laughs> that shit was? Man, nigga, I thought that shit was really real for one second, though. Me too. I was like, I didn't nigga, this nigga got me for real. I ain't finna lie. Hey, did y'all niggas fuck. hear about this? Brink, the, that Brinks truck, or it was actually a Brinks semi truck that got robbed in LA for $150 million I worth of jewels. I about that. Oh, I heard that. Yeah, hey. I didn't know it was in LA, though. That's hella close. Yeah, it was in LA. Oh, I think it was in San Francisco. San Francisco headed to. Uh, oh, so they knew something. Bip City. With a K, Brinks truck. Bip City going to LA. They're going to follow that bitch all the way. Yeah, robbery down. It's one right there. The first one. See, it popped this is, right this up. This is new release. Yeah, it's new. You feel me? Make it big, but it's only 29 seconds. The robbery of millions of dollars of jewelry. Damn, and can I get a chain? A you should see the chains they got. Jeez. Look. Canary diamonds. Those are all hemes. Look. Oh, my God. That ain't no fufu because that's for oh a show. Oh, my God. Look at that. Big stones. Yeah. Uh, so look, I researched into the story, right? Or 
I researched into the story. This is what these niggas well, did, nigga. Away with the low. Hey, yeah. this this what these niggas did, nigga. Drop the power. But yeah. the, I, they said it, they think it was an inside job because the the truck drivers. The, yeah. You know how you see a regular Brinks truck and it's just that little truck. Well, this was a semi truck, but it was locked up. So only they knew, right? Yeah. So what it was is that the the truck parked in a, a vacant part of the lot, like. They parked hella far back there, and the drivers jumped out the truck to go get some food inside. This with the oh hell no, yeah. And they said that they already broke protocol because one of them was supposed to stay with the truck to guard it, no matter what. So Damn. when they came back to the truck, they said that the lock had been broken, and they said that all the fucking cases. They said, but the thing was is that the cases weighed like ten pounds each, right? So. It was kind of hard. See all them rocks. Boy? Yeah, they said it was kind of hard for just one person to do that. You feel me? So they said it had to be like six to twelve people to to take that many cases of jewelry that fast. You feel me? Because, but the, the the driver, and then that's what I'm saying. I looked into it. The driver said that they only left for ten or fifteen minutes. Right? The 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 heist. They said it had to take at least a half an hour. You feel me? Because they said there's no way you can get that many fucking big ass. They said they're lockers. They said they had to have another semi truck ready to take all that. Inside, that was an yeah. inside job. Then. Yeah, so that the niggas about to get fired. You feel me? They went, parked. Well, they called the homies and hey, get the homies, pull up right now. We have this gas station right now. Yeah, that, that was the inside. Yeah, that's what I think too. Because this was because one hundred and fifty, one hundred and fifty million dollars worth of diamonds. Come on, bro. I'm I'm on that too. I'm set. Fine. I'm set for life. You that's are. Movie right Run there. that in. Hey, I was reading some comments right now. They're saying that it was a uh, an Italian job. Like nah. No guns, no uh, no killing. It happened in the Bay Area. Yeah. This was a this was a ghetto job. Nah, they just bipped, job. They, like, they just bipped the truck. No, know how to do it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this some this some niggas from that's the hood. A big city job. Yeah, right this is a bib city job. I guarantee you. They're they in the hood living large right now, eating shrimps and shit. That was dykes. Hey, for real, they got bipped just like how the cars be getting bipped. Oh, they got their lock that? bipped. <coughs> they probably see what's like Ooh. you said. They probably followed them all the way there, like. Yeah. Have you seen that I would have for lick that big. Nigga, the driver just told him, nigga, like that was probably their cousin or oh, something. Man, Tyrone was like, nigga, bro, I just big picked up, big ass I just picked up like hundred and fifty. I picked up hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, uh, diamonds. Nigga, you want to come hit this? Got to bust down. Fuck it, uh, what's up, nigga. Uh, hey, hey, I'm enriching right now, hitting cars. Nigga, fuck being enriching, hitting down cars, down nigga. I got come to Frisco down right Cuban. now, nigga. You, you see that me? bust down Cuban? What? The they had to the bust down Cuban. Yeah, nigga, that's like 70. Oh, wow. That's like 70 easy. You feel I me? I rock that I seen one. it. The nigga tried to charge me. The nigga tried to charge me 30 for one, nigga. So that was way thinner than that one. So I know that one had to be like another 40. Feel me? Hey, man. In all other sports news, though, we got Allen Iverson, the legend himself, for making that Reebok deal. What the fuck Allen Iverson do, man? He getting $300 million. And back from the Reeboks that yeah. he made? He finally getting some money, or he sued him yeah. or some shit. Nah, he's gonna get that repay coming up. What do you mean repay? What the All fuck is that? Shoes. Some shoes that he made. What do you mean? Made. So they didn't pay him up front or something? Is what you nah, saying? Like he signed a deal, thirty-two million dollar deal with Reebok, and he don't get paid until two thousand thirty. So <laughs> 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 he get that thirty-two bill though. But I think it's one of those security accounts, like um, yeah, that's why he's look, walking around looking all mad and shit all the yeah. time. Like, fuck, but man. they got they got deals like say for instance like. So you don't ever be poor again? We'll give you yeah. ten million. Yeah, we'll give That's you ten million right now. And then thirty. Ten years. million and ten years. They hope the lottery. Does. Ten million. Die and, 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 then, and then at the end, we'll give you the fifty that we owe you at the end. Before you die. Before you die. <laughs> now, it, you say, what if you, what if you die? It goes to your kids. Two thousand thirty. Yeah, yeah. you just better know how to do. You better that be deal. moving cool, Alan. You need that, boy. But if you give me ten million. I think I should be pretty much set for the rest of my life. A lot. If you a yeah. jackass, I guess you're not. But he a legend. He's patient for waiting for that. Like fact. Cause I would have done tripped. I would have burnt the whole building down. All types of crazy shit. Hey, we gonna shout out to Iverson. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna end it with this one. This topic. Yeah. Y- y'all seen them Orbeez guns where they shoot the little pellets? Yeah. The water bursting little thing. Yeah. Nah. Well, they got a lot of tournaments right now, and uh, I, I see a lot of little kids running around the you neighborhood. Tournament, tournament. Tournaments like they 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 running around shooting each other with these little water bullets and shit. And uh, I guess in Miami, Florida, uh, the Pull kids shot up. each other. Show, show them the Orbi battles, Orbit, whatever the fuck they're called. Orbs or something. Huh? I seen those from a homie. Was uh, those a ain't whole water. Block. Hey, yeah, they ain't water. They're like a plastic, bro. Orbeez, O R B I E S. Yeah, like the whole block be fighting. Like yeah, the whole block be fighting, right? They're like plastic though. Or bees, nigga. Or oh, bees. That's orbits. With a Z or S. E S. There we go. Orbits. They're plastic though, bro. Them motherfuckers hurt. You you say you ain't even seen it. How the fuck you know what it is? Nah, I seen little pictures like that. Like. I know. Look, 
Look at the first one. Or the, go yeah, to the fourth. Yeah, those are BBs, nigga. Fourth one. The rubber balls, nigga. Look at these niggas. You said kids in your neighborhood are going crazy? Yeah, I be seeing yeah. the kids in every single neighborhood in the ghetto. Every single yeah. hood I be going to, nigga. They Should start with their cars, too. Look. Oh, yeah, but they don't probably hurt. They probably yeah, they do hurt. hurt. What the yeah. fuck you talking about? They hurt. Nah, they probably feel like them airsoft guns. <laughs> they hurt, cool. they hurt, but not like too much. But if you keep yeah. getting popped with it, it hurt. They like them airsoft guns. But that's enough of this. I'm not gonna watch the whole intro. Yeah, man, you're gonna shoot your eye out, man. Yeah, and the police is cracking down on it in Miami, man. They said them niggas was going too crazy with that shit, man. They riding around the neighborhood. Looking too crazy. I don't know, big ass kids was doing it out their cars. I thought you were talking about. Little yeah, they kids. was pulling drive bys on each other. And the crazy thing about it is, these niggas took it to a whole new. What way. happens when the ops pull up on you? What happens yeah. when the ops pull up on you? Really trying to bust your ass and you got an Orbi gun. Got you know what I'm saying? With the Orbi. Hey, food for thought, kids, because. I don't want y'all getting popped, man. You know what I'm saying? Just over yeah, some fucking Orby man. guns, man. You know what I'm saying? What happens when the ops really slide on y'all? Y'all got them fake ass guns. Who's smarter now? But maybe that's man. why they make them like that with the big ass orange shit. So, man, hope- hopefully, man. But hey, it looks fun. It does. Look it fun, looks but fun, but I'll go to a fast. park. I'll go to a big ass park and I'll have yeah, fun. That's not sure. fun doing it around cars and shit. You gotta worry about getting hit and shit. No, nah, you gotta worry about somebody calling the police on you, oh, nigga. Yeah. Fuck so, all that dumb shit. So they're not breaking windows. I just seen they they clapped the whole car. Right nah, there. it don't it don't break a window, but they're it's like just little bounce. They bounce off and shit. Yeah, but people just get irritated. Like if it hits your window, it'll make noise and shit. Like nah, if, yeah, if you hit somebody's just, window, it'll get irritated by it. You'll get irritated it's too. Just like you said, you gotta do that shit in the park or something. We grown. Do it in the tight ass park, like a big ass yeah. park where everybody's running around. And you're on the red team. I'm on the blue team. Let's go, nigga. Whatever. You feel me? But. I just want to bring a little light to this. Cause in Miami, yeah, man, they cracking down. They said if you do it again, if they do it, they're going to get misdemeanors from now on. They're going to up it to well, felonies if you do it three times yeah, or some so shit. They, so wild. Like, they must be wild. Yeah, they're going crazy over that. Like they're pulling up right now, like on drive by. Yeah, they always slide on each <laughs> other and shit like that. That shit would be fun because we used to do that shit with paintballs. Like, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, that's that's what, what I said. I said, uh, we always used to use paintballs. I don't know about yeah. this other shit. We used to shoot people with shit to hurt, nigga. Hurt. Yeah, that shit hurt if you get cracked with a paintball, nigga. I remember that paintball war. Yeah, nigga, look at my scars and shit. On my mama, though. You guys got to go to the fucking to the real paintball place. I ain't doing no, this shit, I didn't have bro. that shit. We used to have to go out in the fields and make our own, like... Facts. Out in uh, Marsh Lane and shit. But, man, we finna, we finna wrap this show up on this note, man. Yeah. Man, hey, man. I am Gotti, man. Thank you for watching, man. Another episode of Table Talk, man. I am also here with my other brothers. I am busy macking the handicap assassin. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Your boy Vic420. Yes, sir, man. And uh, y'all tune in for the next episode. And thank you for fucking with us, man.